Hello and welcome to the workshop. We got a pair of sneakers today that I have been waiting on. Insert evil laugh. Birdman hand rub. This is a sneaker. Well, it's a brand new model from Nike and I've been very excited about getting a pair. And now they're here. If you follow me on Instagram, at Mr. Fomer Simpson, then you saw these yesterday. I wore them already because I wanted to get at least some feel for them before speaking on them. And with that said, here they are. Bang, bang. The Nike Joyride Run Flyknit. These retail for 180 bucks, and I believe they will be available in store on August 15th. Don't hold me to that in regard to the date, but that's what I have seen. So is it the new most comfortable Nike sneaker? You know, that's kind of been the buzz a little bit. Is there a new champ in town? Is this Joyride technology the best cushioning on the market? The short answer is hell to the nah, to the nah, nah, nah. No, it is not. Nike has a lot of cushioning tech. I mean, you got Nike Air, React, Zoom X, there's Foam, there's a bunch of others, and now this. The point being, Nike has a plethora of cushioning. And these, like I said, I saw a lot of buzz, which makes sense because the look of the stuff is very intriguing. The little dipping dots, the tiny foam beads, little pods, whatever you want to call them. People saying most comfortable this or most comfortable that. And even Nike called it the softest cushioning experience yet. That's a direct quote. I also saw people saying on the kind of negative side of things that Nike copied Puma because Puma put out the sneakers using the energy beads a little while ago. I have no idea who owns that and who was first or second or whatever. I know a lot of new technologies actually have copyrights and patents from years and years ago. So no real comment on that, but I will say I am a little disappointed with the execution of this Joyride stuff. In fairness, Two things. I think it might be one of those instances where you have to wear the sneaker for a couple weeks before it really gets comfortable, kind of conforms to the foot, right? Because that's the whole idea behind these is that they give you that one of one fit where it really does conform to your foot. Almost like if you were walking in sand or something, how that sand fills in to the shape of your foot. So there's that. And then the second thing to keep in mind is that this is the first iteration. This is Nike's first version. As we've seen with other sneakers and technologies, they can surely iron out the kinks and turn it into a better shoe. I remember when Adidas implemented Boost into their basketball sneakers, at first it wasn't that good. And then they got better and better and better. Nike has done that with countless sneakers and technologies as well. As is though, right now, these are not not really for me. There are a bunch of Nike sneakers way more comfy. The Air Max 270, the Presto React, the Vomero 5, the Zoom Pegasus 35 Turbo. I mean, there are a lot and that's just a few of them. These, I would say six out of 10. Buckets, what did you give them comfort wise? Seven out of 10. So buckets six, seven, I think that's the range that they're in. It's not like some super uncomfortable sneaker, but it's not Cozy Boy certified either. Let me break down the fit. Let me try to give you a full description of what these feel like on feet. Number one, they do fit true to size lengthwise, but they run very, very narrow. It is one of those sneakers that really hugs your foot. So it may feel like you need to size up, but I would say true to size. Just know that if you have a super wide, wide foot, these probably aren't going to be the best look for you. After all, it is a running sneaker, so I get it, but casually, I don't like that type of fit as much. It has a very performance feel when you lace them up. Number two, moving on to the actual foam beads. They aren't necessarily uncomfortable, like I said, but it almost feels like there aren't enough of them. Like even pushing the bottom, pressing on that outsole, it feels a little deflated. And there are these different groupings of beads strategically placed, but it doesn't totally translate to comfort somehow. There's just a slight awkwardness to it when you're walking. 
The upper is mostly fly knit, as you can see. There's a little bit of reinforcement in a couple sections, but fly knit, always pretty comfy in my opinion. It isn't a bad sneaker, it just feels a little unfinished to me. Either that or they take a while to really unleash, like I said, for lack of a better way to explain it. We will do a full update on this sneaker in a few weeks, months, whichever it takes. We will be conducting our infamous life test. I know a lot of you are already familiar with those. So we will be doing a life test on this sneaker. You can stay tuned for that. But these are kind of just the initial right out of the box thoughts you know we always got to give it to you how it is a lot of people have been asking about these and we got to tell you the good the bad and the ugly overall i'm not mad at them i'm a little underwhelmed but i'm curious to see how they hold up i'm curious to see how they feel down the road no pun intended and most of all i guess i'm kind of interested to see what nike does with them and how they kind of use this tech and execute it in the future and moving forward what are your thoughts though do you have a pair will you get a pair are you as intrigued by this stuff as i was and kind of still am it's just a cool new look and they do feel really different i will say that look and feel different is this the next king of cushioning though in your opinion or is it just a gimmick however you feel leave a comment below and let us know always love to hear from you and we are going to read through all the comments might not be able to respond to all of them but we always read the comments and your feedback is always very very appreciated thank you for watching we will be back tomorrow same time same place right here at the workshop. Until then, adios.